Hello guys, Tech is just Star Tuesday Zero here, so I'm in this if you want to stop. Okay. <coughs> um, and today we're going to look at some more interesting, kind of weird, kind of hidden, kind of scary things in Android. Yeah. <laughs> I realized that while well, I'm probably like the only jammer that actually finished the journey book. Because, like, I was dedicated to Animal Jam and I wanted to do every single experience possible. It's actually pretty fun finishing the journey book. Especially in the Paradise Party. Um. Yeah, I realized while I was filling out my Apple Mail journey book. Okay, that's all. <laughs> When I was filling out my app on mail journey book, um, the meerkat and the warthog by the mud pit, see, there they are now, they come out at the exact same time. And I wondered if this was a reference to Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King. And I think it is, because they come out at the exact same time, and Timon and Pumbaa are, like, the best of friends. So, yeah, I think that might, may or may not be a reference to The Lion King, just a little wink at that amazing movie. No one really knows about this, but apparently you can break the ice and not severe. No one really knows, um, how to do it, but apparently the best, the three best top ways I heard are, you have to be all blue, you have to be a seal. I don't think I have a seal. And you have to get 20 of those blue seals to jump on the sign. This sign. And no one really knows because no one's ever really done it. But if you have 20 buddies and they all have seals, gather them around please in Mount Shavir, turn them all blue, and have them jump on the sign. Uh, that's uh, that's sticking into the ice, and um, yeah. So there's that too. There's two mysteries right here in this very small area of the um very small space of the area. Um, uh, first, no one really knows why this is steaming, and I don't really know either. And no one really knows what that blue streak is, but since and go to my jammer wall. I like clearing out my jammer wall. Um, so like, on the jammer wall you don't have um, free chat, I'm just you don't have free chat on the jammer wall um, but you can type in word names like Ravenpaw, or Firestar, or Graystripe, uh, Yellowfang, my favorite one, Spotted Leaf, um, Spotted Leaf is Bay, even though she's, like, died twice, she, she's still my favorite. Um, and now I'm getting to like series on warrior cats, but this is about animal jam. Um, but you can type in warrior cat names. So I was thinking maybe animal jam knows of warrior cats before people kept requesting to be able to say warrior cat names without free chat and restricted chat. Um, so maybe they like. Like maybe it is shaped in a crescent, so it kind of looks like a moon. So I wondered if this was maybe a reference to word cats, a little wink at the moon pool. And also this dinosaur here. Um, it's kind of freaky because basically the dinosaur is dead. But um. Hmm. 
But, um, apparently there are dino dinosaurs way before Animal Jam, um, in this area. Like, maybe they planned on making a game, and it was about dinosaurs, but they just decided to make it about regular animals. And this may be a wink wink right here to, um, to, like, the old game that they might have made. Or maybe this is just an interesting little thing, because, like, dinosaurs used to be on the earth. Why not add a dinosaur and some ice? But, yeah. If the sun wasn't in the way, you would usually see that little kid thingy majigger and the seal. But ever since the Arctic Fox teaser, uh, they still have the Arctic Fox there. So I wonder if when that sign moves, um, the seal will be back on carved on the ice. I kind of just now realized, um, while I was just looking around everyone's favorite place, See, I can go to Alden, and then go to Kimbara Outback, and still no one's here. Um, and there's a little bit of 3D trickery here in Kimbara Outback with the web. Um, like, is it going, like, that way, and the uh, entrance is kind of shaped weirdly? Because, you know, nothing's perfect in nature. But, um... No, it's actually say, shaped like a cone that's going inward, and you can tell that when the spider is going out of its nest. Um, I just got done, like, eating a Hot Pocket. I had the possibility to eat a Hot Pocket, and then I was just walking around Kamara back trying to find something interesting. And I walked in the medical center, and I found these pictures, and now I'm pretty grossed out. And I kind of want to vomit now. Because I just ate, and I think I ate a little bit too fast. But yeah, why would they even... It was like education and crap, but... Jesus. Also, um, here I'll zoom in. If you pay attention closely to the eye chart, it says... Greeley... Lisa Cosmo... Graham... Ah, it keeps going smaller. Gilbert, um, hold on, I have to zoom in myself, uh, it's all blurry now, uh, I can't see it, but yeah, there's that eye chart and it says the alphas, it's pretty cool, there is a rumor, I know, I know, you kind of have to do this, but there is a rumor, that if you're all white and you're a diamond shop animal and you're wearing nothing and even your name tag is white, then you will get 10 free diamonds. But this is most likely false because, like, why would AJ give out diamonds for free like that? Also, the myth includes you standing on a diamond. And only one animal at a time can be on one diamond for the 10 extra free diamonds happen, but most likely that would not happen because Animal Jam does not want to get rid of their diamonds for free. They kind of have to make money, and also you could just do this whenever you wanted. Um, and apparently you have to dance for 10 whole minutes, but, uh, even kids who are patient enough to do that, um, they just, they just, it doesn't happen. So, yeah. Also, this isn't really a mystery in Animal Jam, but I think Animal Jam, AJHQ should rethink this, because it's club geos. And people can pretend it's an actual club, and pretend they're getting drunk and stuff. Which is pretty bad for the Animal Jam community, might I add? May I say so myself? Um... And... Uh, yeah, people can pretend they're animal getting drunk. And that's not a very good thing for, like, five-year-olds to be acting out, or seeing, or whatever. Um... But it is a pretty good place to do 
the Harlem Shake or hit the Quan. But if you get enough animals to dance on here, then the disco ball will appear and lights and stuff. But it's not a really common thing people know. And if someone does know about it, they probably won't even try at it because no one exactly knows what it does or could do. So, yeah. I just wanted to say Serapia Forest is very complex and, oh, well, it's like easy to find if you've been playing Animal Jam for like, I don't know, two hours. But if you're like a, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of complex for like newcomers or like three year olds. <laughs> um, no offense people, but like. And no, I'm not saying that three-year-olds shouldn't play in old jam. This is a kid's game after all. And by my um, common sense here, searching to the files. Yeah, I think a three-year-old is a kid. So yeah, you three year olds are good. You're good. Pretty much everyone knows this by now. Um, if you d if you get a lot of people to either dance or hop, and I don't. Well, maybe hop works, I know, but I know dance works, and either hop or play works. But, um, if you get enough people to dance around the fire in Serapia Forest, um, the spirit of Myra will appear. And she'll just be like a flame just standing there. Ah, sorry, my voice, I think I'm a little sick. And, um, she'll just kind of be, uh, Stand in there. So maybe if I go to Alden, Serapia Forest. Oh, that's not what I meant. Serapia. And my bumblebee otter now, but I don't want to be. I want to be my awesome snow leopard. Um. So maybe if I can get enough people to answer on fire. make a good Harlem Shake video. See the flame grow bigger. Okay, maybe not. Um, but yeah. No one's doing this. It's my leg. Okay. But yeah, the flame grows bigger and bigger and bigger until eventually um, Mira's spirit appears. And it's actually pretty cool. It's it's pretty cool looking, and the graphics of Mira, Myra's spirit. I I keep saying Mira. I, I don't know if it's pronounced Mira or Myra, and I don't know if it's pronounced Zeos or Zios or Liza or Liza. But I'm just gonna go with Myra, Liza, and Zios. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how it's pronounced. I'm gonna go to Google Translate. Because they have like, oh, uh, what text? Text to speech. Here's text to speech voice. Uh, Um, oh, it's already 14 minutes in, so I'll have to make a part 3. Let's put on Zios. Um, Myra and Liza. Anyway, it's like, I have to end the video, like, right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have one. And subscribe to my channel. Sorry, this is a quick outro, but I don't really care. <laughs> and... And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!